This video is a quick guide to the verb avoir, which means to have. It's an irregular verb and we're going to take you through how to form it and how it sounds in six tenses for the je subject. So avoir means to have and you should recognise it straight away in the present tense. J'ai, I have. J'ai eu, I had. And j'avais, I used to have. Then into the future, je vais avoir. I'm going to have, j'aurai, I will have, and j'aurai, I would have. Remember, the future tense and the conditional sound exactly the same, there's just a difference in spelling on ending. J'aurai, j'aurai, A-I-S. Now that's useful because there's many phrases in French that use avoir uh, to say something interesting. For example, avoir faim, to be hungry or avoir soif, to be thirsty. It's interesting in as much as it uses avoir, which means to have, but its translation in English, when we put it with that phrase, is to be, to be hungry, to be thirsty. Really good for GCSE on numbers three and four. Avoir besoin de, plus an infinitive verb, to need to do something. J'ai besoin de parler français, I need to speak French. Or avoir envie de, plus an infinitive to want to do something. It's a good synonym for je voudrais. J'ai envie de parler français. I want to speak French. And then number five, it's more of a higher level one, avoir la flamme de, plus an infinitive, to not feel like. J'ai la flamme de parler français. I don't feel like speaking French. So just to show you how that works across the tenses, let's take number four as an example. Avoir envie de, plus an infinitive to want to do something. J'ai envie de faire les devoirs. I want to do homework. J'ai eu envie de tuer ma sœur. I wanted to kill my sister. J'avais envie de dormir. I wanted to, or I used to want, to sleep. Je vais avoir envie d'étudier. I'm going to want to study. J'aurais envie, envie de voyager en France. I will want to travel to France. J'aurais envie de sécher l'école. I would want to skive school. So you've got six different tenses there, all with avoir, showing you how that phrase can be adapted. All five of these phrases are really useful and could be used in speaking or in writing, or you might see them in reading or hear them in listening at GCSE. Thank you very much for watching this quick video on avoir, the verb to have, the regular in six tenses, and here we formed it in the je form. Thank you very much. Remember, please, to like and subscribe.